Hi, I'm Cyrus, and this is Becky, and we're from Valley STEM. Today, we're gonna to be teaching you about internet security. We use the internet every day, and you probably do too. In fact, you're probably watching this video on the internet right now. We try to secure our digital information, called data, so that our personal information stays safe. If you've been on the internet for a while, you probably recognize this. This is one way we secure our information. However, some people will want to take that data. In this video, we'll call these people hackers. Have you ever wondered how hackers steal your data or how they take your passwords? When you think of hacking, you might think of green letters across a black screen as someone unlocks the mainframe, but actual hacking looks a lot different from that. Today, we're gonna to be learning about what actual hacking looks like and what you can do to protect yourself. To start, let's go to howsecureismypassword.net. This website will tell you how good some common passwords are. When I say go, I want you to pause this video and try the passwords we're putting on the screen. You're also welcome to try out some of your own passwords. Try to spend about three to five minutes doing a different combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Okay, ready? Go. Hopefully you've had the chance to try out some passwords. Did you notice which ones were stronger? Now, Cyrus is going to tell us how hackers can be so good at guessing passwords. There are a few ways hackers try to steal passwords. The first method is called brute force. In this method, a computer randomly guesses, character by character, until it gets everything right. This was really common in the early days of computing, since it's pretty easy to tell a computer just to guess until it's all correct. But soon, hackers realized that this took a long time, especially if the password was long. By brute force, it takes a 10-character password four months to guess, an 11-character password 10 years, and a 12-character password over 200 years. So over time, hackers got smarter. They realized when humans created passwords, they didn't just choose a bunch of random symbols. People wrote passwords they could remember, which were usually words with a few numbers. So hackers came up with the dictionary attack. Like choosing words from a dictionary, a program would pick words and plug them in, hoping to get your password right. This meant that the length of the password mattered less, but the complexity mattered more. But ideally, of course, you have both. Of course, the methods hackers use to get passwords are evolving every day, but the rest of that stuff is outside of the scope of this video. Hackers are able to get your passwords, though, in more ways than just breaking in. Most of the time, they just ask it from you and you give it to them. This is what we call social engineering, or scamming. Deceiving people into giving away their personal information. In the most common attack, hackers try to pretend to be authentic when they really aren't who they say they are. This is called phishing. Remember these terms. You'll need them for this next activity. You might think you're too smart to be tricked, but unless you know the tools hackers use to try and fool you, you might not be as safe as you thought. But just explaining it to you would be boring. Instead, let's test how much you already know. When I say go, go to Be Internet Awesome, link right in the corner, and play around with it for 15 to 20 minutes. See if you can beat it all. Ready, go. Hopefully you've now played around a little bit with the Reality River game. How did you do? Now you know a little bit more about how to stay safe on the internet. As a wrap up, consider these questions. Good work today. If you're watching this video as a part of our school or library programs, return to the digital session. If not, and you have any questions, send us an email at questions at valleystem.org. We'll be happy to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.